Um, I'm actually just about to go to bed. <laughs> it's currently 20 to 12 on Saturday the 13th of August. And I was meant to start a vlog today and I forgot. So this coming week I'm off work for the whole week. And as per usual, when I have weeks off work, I tend to vlog it because I have like literally nothing else to do. Last Sunday, I went to get my eyes tested and this eye has gone two steps worse. This eye has gone one step worse. So um, <laughs> this is one of the last times, I guess it's the way of saying it, that you'll be seeing me wearing these glasses. Um, I've gone for the first time in a while a different colour so every time I've gone to get my glasses since I started wearing them actually I think I've always gone for like this kind of colour so it's kind of like mm, like a ready purple sort of vibe anyway I've had like three pairs of glasses that have been like this or had like this colour incorporated in it some way. I'm very excited for this coming week actually because the heat wave is ending. Yes! Who knew I'd be so excited about a heat wave ending? It's been so hot in the UK. Um, I'm glad I got my my heater, my uh, heating fixed because it was adding about eight or nine degrees indoors to what it is currently at. Yeah, huge lifesaver. It's not as sweaty as it would be, but it is very, very, very warm today. Um, it was like 33 deg degrees today. It's currently 22 and it's the middle of the night, which is mad. It's not usually that warm in the UK. Um, but it ends on Tuesday. We're going to have some rain on Tuesday and Wednesday and like Friday. We're finally going to be ending this drought and this heat wave. Um, the summer has been glorious, the weather's been amazing, but I've been working, so of course as soon as I finish working, as soon as I'm off for work, the heat wave does end, but getting a couple of days in there, Monday and Tuesday, but after Tuesday it's going to be back to normal situations, which um, I'm looking forward to, not going to lie, as much as I love the warmth, it's been quite warm in here, um, I have just realized I haven't put my ice pack in my freezer and I need that to uh, keep me cool whilst I sleep tonight. So anyway, this is a very long intro. Why do I do this to myself every single time? I don't know. I have had a great night, not gonna lie. Um, I was going to put start this earlier, but then I got distracted. So um, I was doing like a never have I ever discord night and um, there was some drinking. I actually found and created a non-alcoholic Pims that tastes pretty much like the alcoholic version but has no alcohol in it obviously. It has apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, lemonade, sparkling water and then like the fruit and things that you add in like strawberries, uh, lemon, uh, orange and what else? Cucumber, like you know, anything you add to a or a mint as well. I have a mint plant on that shelf now that I don't really know what to do with, but I bought it just for the pims, the non alcoholic pims, and it was amazing. I had a whole picture to myself, <laughs> so um, yeah. Morning, all running a little bit late. Um, I need to actually be leaving my flat like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, um, just a little bit slow on the intake here. Let me just see if I can find. Uh, these will do. I got up late this morning. Um, I actually forgot to set my alarm, so it's been a little bit of a rush. But uh, it takes about ten minutes to get to the shopping centre, and then it takes an additional like ten minutes to walk to the store so yeah let me just put my shoes on all right i'm in a rush on my phone my cat's in the middle of the play it's going to 
get my pencil in. When you first get new glasses, like everything feels so crystal clear. I'm lucky I managed to get there early, that's for sure. That is fantastic. There's a massive queue to get in to test it to into the multi-story car park now, so very glad that I went early as I could on a Sunday. Um but yeah, I was there much longer than I thought I was going to be because they forgot to bring my glasses from the lab, which is about 10 minutes away. So I had to wait for a while for them to pick them up. Um, apparently they did put an appointment in for me, but then they actually forgot to put it into the system. So it wasn't registered. So they didn't realize that they had my glasses missing. So that was a little bit of a So it never even shows the photos of the bed. I got myself a Starbucks, my usual order, of course. Alright, I'm now home. Green with like a turtle, tortoise shell uh, leg, arm. Um, um. All right, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a very exciting update. As you can tell from the title, this is my project pan finale. <laughs> p.m. so I think it must be like an hour or so later so I filmed the project pan video I then also updated my project pan Instagram which I do I think it's tagged in my description below if it's not then I, I'll make sure it is um, and I've also just kind of put it all away so now my desk looks like it's got a lot less makeup on it which is quite a nice feeling not gonna lie now before I go on to anything else, I'm probably going to update my 
spreadsheet so I can start anew and update all the numbers because I've not done it yet this week so I'm a little bit behind and it stresses me out a little bit when my spreadsheet is a bit behind a bit okay I can actually delete all of my project hand stuff now because that's been done I honestly cannot remember where I left you guys so I went for I, I edited the video okay so wow lighting is so bad but um what was I saying oh so I edited my vlog uploaded my vlog was it then that I went I honestly cannot recall it must have been after I uploaded my vlog because I think I had put my washing on whilst I was editing the vlog and then I went out for a walk two hour walk I said it was going to be a chill Sunday walk I had plans of just doing a short little walk just to get my 8k steps in ended up doing like uh, 8 km 8k like five mile walk or something mad like that um so not very chill at all really uh i can't do chill like i had multiple times where i could have turned around on gone home and i just continued going further and then i was about halfway there or halfway around i was like hmm, my feet hurt a little bit now i need to probably try and figure out how to get back home yeah it was really nice weather today great again i had a good chance of like getting used to my sunglasses my sunglasses fit better than these two these ones have a little bit of a slide to them i'm not really too sure what to do about that but my sunglasses fit better they don't slide they just sit but it was like cloudy the entire walk so I was wearing sunglasses for no reason so for my walk I changed because I realized earlier than that that my t-shirt had like stains all over it so I changed to this white top and I put my little workout shorts on underneath fun fact these um, came straight out of the wash and then I put them straight on whilst they were still wet because it was a nice cooling sensation I'm not gonna lie anyway I'm currently catching up on Love Island uh, I realized that the Love Island series ended and I've not really watched any of it so I'm trying to like get through it so I'm trying to watch like two episodes like, every other day or so just to boost me <laughs> into watching it a little bit faster but uh, yeah I'm watching I've watched one episode I'm watching another one I think I'm on episode nine now great like it's Sunday evening and now that I don't have to get up for work tomorrow morning so I'm kind of excited that like I can chill however I do still need to get up early tomorrow because my mum's coming around so I'm reckoning she's gonna be around by like nine half past nine ten ish or something like that so I need to get up early uh, enough to be aware of that it's going to help me put the a shelf up on that wall over there not gonna lie I just ate a lime is that weird but I, yeah I just ate the rest of a lime I put a, so I tried this tonight the zero alcohol corona I need the coronavirus then <laughs> the zero alcohol corona I put a lime slice in there and then I put another slice of lime in my dinner tonight and then I just Eight, the other half all right good morning guys welcome to Monday um so it's ten past ten I've got an early wake-up call for my mum this morning uh, it turned out she was ready to be at mine by nine so I had to wake up a little bit early she woke me up by ringing me we tried to put the shelf up we got as far as marking the wall I'm not even too sure if it will even show up on camera, but there's a pencil marking on them. Basically, we don't have any screws. For some reason, the screws have been misplaced, and I have no idea where they are. I don't believe I own any screws. Um, 
I'm honestly not too sure where I would have put the screws if I did own them. I'm very confused though, like, why didn't it come with the screws? Surely it came with screws and I'm just like missing something here, but... I would have put them all together over there in the corner. So the fact that I can't find any screws shows me, tells me that maybe it didn't come with any. Because it was all here. Oh, it was all here. But no, I can't find them. Um, let me just double check this drawer again. This drawer is miscellaneous crap. Not too sure what to do with myself now for the rest of the day. I'm actually very tempted just to go back to bed. <laughs> All right, it's now half past three. I've got like the worst headache ever and I think it's the heat. It's a mix of the heat and me getting used to these new glasses. I don't know if anyone else gets this, but whenever I get new glasses, it takes me like a few days to get used to it. Like it really gives me a headache. Yeah, I had some strawberries for lunch because I just don't really feel like I'm making anything else that meant cooking. So I didn't. Yeah, I've just been watching some TV for the last few hours. Um, I'm pretty chill. You know what day? I'm gonna make myself a drink though. Well, firstly, I put this in the fridge, in the freezer to freeze over. So I'm gonna take that out so it can fester for a little while. I'll just have some water. Did you know, growing up? I did not like the taste of water and I started liking water maybe like three or four years ago for me it's because water tastes like something people always say water has no taste but water does have a taste um, and like, you can taste the difference between different water types as well it took me the longest to get used to drinking tap water though. But I would say, um, I drink more water than anything these days. I may have a, may have a cup of tea in the evening, um, I may have like orange juice, but I barely, if at all, have like uh, fizzy drinks. Uh, maybe like once or twice a year maybe. I mean I did just buy loads of fizzy drinks but I have them currently but I just find I am much better just drinking water. In my next clip if I'm wearing makeup, it's the same day. I've just decided to do it for fun. Alright, I've just had a very delightful nap. And now it's quarter to six. I just realised that the video I was meant to be filming today was a what I eat in the day video. And I've eaten two meals, had snacks, and I completely forgot about it. So we're not doing that today, obviously. I quite know why I'm putting makeup on. It's quarter to six now in the evening. I just had a nap. And um, I'm not going out anywhere. I'm not seeing anyone. To be fair, I've still got a bit of a headache from earlier. Like, I'm excited actually to be doing my makeup today because I have less items to work with as I'm not doing my project pan this month. Because I filmed my finale yesterday and now today is the first day not having to reach for those products and it's like, oh my goodness, I've got like, I've got like not as much makeup on my desk. It feels like really nice and <laughs> like less cluttered but there's still a lot here to garner with to play with so um right makeup is done this is like my everyday makeup but it's also like my evening makeup i do the same routine even if i'm going out for the night but anyway um i've been catching up on some weekly vlogs i'm currently watch catching up on ghost town living i love his vlogs um 
it's about the guy who lives in a ghost town in America and the latest update is that they had the flash flooding and are trying to um, fix it. Oh yeah, I forgot I got out the freezer <laughs> earlier. Um, so plans for dinner. I'm not really too sure yet, to be honest. Um, I might... I've got leftover sausages. So I may chop them up into little pieces fry them with maybe some spring onion and have it with like some pasta or rice okay as soon as i turned off my camera i had an idea i have left over sausages what am i going to make if you are british you may already know what I'm maybe potentially thinking about doing. If you're not, then you may not know. But I'm gonna make a toad in the hole. And if you guys don't know what a toad in the hole, it's essentially a Yorkshire pudding, but in like one in one pan, and you put the sausages in. Usually, you, you cook the sausages first, and then you pour the batter in later, and then you let it rise, and it's just the best thing ever. Uh, I love a toad in the hole. But I have like loads of milk because for some reason, even though I haven't been drinking as much, I've now got like one milk, two milk, three milk, plus this these two milks as well. Okie dokie, let's make in the hole. If you guys don't know what Yorkshire pudding, pudding is, it's the same mixture that you create pancakes with. Egg, milk, flour, with the addition of some butter and some um, sausages. I was going to say strawberries then. So firstly I am going to put the oven on. So it needs to be on 220 fan. Oh, it doesn't even say say. It just says 220. So that's what we're gonna put it on. I think they ask for a lot more sausages than the two left over I've got, but that's okay. But I've only got two sausages left over. So we're just going to cut these up into little bits. Um, some scissors here. I'm just going to cut them up into small little bits and put them into the pan. So if you were cooking this from fresh and you hadn't cooked your sausages yet, you would basically put your raw sausages into this pan with a little bit of butter and you'd cook them for 20 minutes. But as I have already pre-cooked these, I'm not going to put these in for 20 minutes. I don't have any block butter, but I would probably suggest having block butter rather than the spreadable. But they want to have 25 grams. I usually just kind of add like a spoonful, like this much, and then add it into the pan. And I'll like position it so they are all kind of like spread out a little bit. But yeah, so this is what it's looking like currently. So yeah, at this point, you'd put the sausages into the oven. If they were raw, you'd put them in there for 10 minutes just so they'd start getting a little bit cooked. In the meantime, you want to have your bowl ready and you want to get the rest of the ingredients ready. Um, my oven's not preheated yet, so they haven't got in yet. That's fine. So you need to get the salt and the flour. my weighing scales here I've already got I've got pre-sieved flour let's see what type of flour it just says flour okay I'll just use the plain flour because it was easier to, to, to get um, out of the box so they want to have this is also pre-sieved so even though the instructions say to sieve it this is pre-sieved so I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to pour it in. So we have 100 grams. And they wanna 
a little bit of salt. So a pinch of salt. Breaking that egg. Can you guys see Millie? <laughs> I love that she's just sat on my stool in the middle of the room right now. Alright, um, and then we need to add half the milk. And then we need to weigh out the milk first. Right, so now we need to pour out 300 grams of milk. I'm feeling this is not going to be enough. I'm correct in that. That's okay. <coughs> 300. And now you need to gradually pour in the milk. So how I do it is I have a small little whisk, I like how I'm headless here, um, I have a small little whisk and I am going to yeah, mix it all together, um, gradually adding in half of the milk. So. Let me just add in a little bit of milk. So whilst I am stirring this in, I'm just gonna put this in for five minutes and then I can pour the batter on top. This is now smooth, all mixed in. But yeah, I put the sausages in for five minutes just to like heat them up a little bit because they haven't been cooked and also to, um, what's the word, melt the butter as well. I almost feel like I was a Grade and now I'm back with my original class, so I'm just grateful to be here to be honest. I didn't know this day would ever come, I didn't expect it, and um, now to have the chance is just about delivering on the opportunity. The big one, and, and more just finishing well, so fundamentally, I'm in a different car, so that's um, that's always nice. New team, new environment, new logos, everything new, new markets, you could even say. <laughs> I think the level is extremely good. So now it's in the oven and you basically leave it in there for 40 to 45 minutes or until you can see that it has risen up and it's getting a little bit crispy and brown on top that's when it's time to get it out you don't want it to be too overdone but you also don't want it to be too underdone either because that could be quite sludgy but you don't want it to be overdone because then it'd be quite crispy and dry so you've got to get like the happy medium of Yorkshire pudding type vibes but yeah, this is one of my favourite meals that I love to make myself and it's pretty simple and easy to make as well, like it's been five minutes. And voila, here is my toad in the hole. So it's now like quarter to 12 and I just got a weather warning that rain is on its way possible light rain over the next hour there's a rain little counter there 
I have never been so excited to have Ryan in my life. It was not, if it was not quarter to 12, I would 100% run out there right now and just go for a walk in the rain. Okay, that was really awkward. <laughs> so, I for some reason always keep that blind open and I obviously live in a, in a, in a road where I've got flats on the other side of the road and I just walked over there obviously to be in front of that window I looked across and there was a, literally a woman just staring across at me watching me film Good morning So it is 10 past 11 I have been awake for the last like 2 3 hours I think 3 hours um, I woke up to my phone going crazy over people waking up and seeing that Zayn Malik had posted a video of him singing a One Direction song. <laughs> so that's how my morning's gone. I've also decided that I am going to uh, get off social media for the rest of this week. Um, I think it's time to have like a break, just have like a screen break, you know, and not like lose my head over social medias. Anyway, I'm wearing the same clothes as Easter Dizzle, but um, I'm going to shortly have a bath, so that's okay. It won't be for very long. Um, though, to be honest with you guys, I'll probably put these back on because they are comfy. And, well, maybe. Maybe not. I don't really know. But I do need to have a bath. I need to um, freshen up a little bit. But the weather is much cooler today, even though it's, it's, it's only 29 degrees in here right now. But this room is the room that's usually been the hottest room. I can actually feel the cool air coming through the window. Like the window is open. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but yeah, the window has been open for the last like while. And I can feel the coolness coming through, which is beautiful. And I think my cat can also feel it because she's been she's been down here. There she is underneath the much keyboard she's been in here so it's obviously like the coolest room um i'm gonna have another cup of tea i'm gonna make myself a bath i'm gonna freshen up to do nothing i think i'm just gonna watch more tv <laughs> to be honest to be honest oh, guys Officially, very dark. It's raining. Goodness, it actually really is raining properly as well. <gasps> this is actual proper heavy rain. <sighs> Guys, I think the heat wave is officially broken. We've got the rain. I've never been so excited to have rain in my life. Okay, even better. I just heard thunder. We're gonna have a storm in our hands, guys. I really hope so. I love a storm, but that is a very dark cloud up the top up there. I think the said storm's getting closer to us as it's getting heavier. And the thunder's getting heavier. The thunder's getting louder, even. I want to see some lightning. Come on, storm. Come to mama. The rain's getting heavier. Alright, it is 4pm. I thought I'd show you guys the outfit I've gone to wear today. I don't think I actually did a full on fit check. So, this is what I'm wearing. My McLaren Miami top. Some shorts. And... That's it. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to be a lot more like confident in my own body. For years, um, in the summer, I would just wear jeans and hoodies and like long sleeve tops and never show off my arms or my legs or whatever. And I did that since I was like 10 or 11. I just got really self-conscious and wouldn't show any of my body. And then it's only been maybe the last one or two years where I've really tried to push myself to 
break out of that um, uh, unconfidentness and like be proud of who I am and my body and how it is. Um, so yeah, I would only really ever, ever wear shorts or t-shirts if I was abroad. I would never wear shorts, t-shirts or skirts or dresses in England. <laughs> And I have just been like pushing myself like it's, it's mainly because I'm so self-conscious about me being really pale and like I don't tan like you can see guys I am as white as anything I, I'm like as white as like a redhead is I just don't tan I go and I used to when I was a child but I think because I'm so used to not being in the sun and hiding all the time. I've like lost that exposure. So I'm just white. <laughs> Need to kind of just be more confident and show off what I've got. And I think working out and like getting back into that has really helped me as well, kind of get into being more confident in myself and realize that like not everyone's the same. Uh, like of course um, I'm never gonna have like the perfect body it's just how my body is um, I can love it for what it is as it is now it's normal to even have like cellulite things um, and not care what anyone else thinks like yes I'm pale I know I'm pale but going out into the sun doesn't change anything it, it's like a real 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 like gradual tan for me um, I just usually goes back to being white again like I got burnt last week and i got burnt on the back of my legs and it literally just went back to being white again okie dokie good morning everyone hope you guys are well i don't know why i'm asking you that as if you're going to respond but still um it's another gloomy summer day today the weather is cooling down just a little bit which i'm loving like my flat feels like it's now livable the blurriness is a vibe this is like me without my glasses on can't see anything um yeah i had pancakes for breakfast this morning it's now quarter past 11 i have just been chilling not gonna lie i've just been scrolling through my phone as you do um listening to harry styles's new album for the first time um people know me know that i'm not really a big fan of harry styles's um solo music but he's redeemed himself his latest album is it harry's house is really good his fine lines album is rubbish but his self-titled like first album that he released it's really good but none of them beat his time in one direction not gonna lie he peaked um i think he's very overrated i don't understand how he has the success he has um i just feel bad for the other band members who don't have the same success and they deserve it more or on a more equal level and yes i did see him solo twice but that was in his um self-titled harry styles album era which is the album i like it was not in the fine line or harry's house eras i think it's sad that he's not allowed to talk about one direction he's literally been banned from about mentioning them and it just makes it look really bad that he's just kind of forgotten where he's come from. The worst thing of it all is that I hate, hate that he's the one who's taken What Makes You Beautiful. I wish the others could have like taken that song instead because I feel like they could have made it a better version than he has. Um, also, top of One Direction, Zayn yesterday posted an Instagram video of him singing Night Changes which I think was his like final a single as part of One Direction which is mad and it's the second time this year that he's performed a One Direction song on Instagram the one before was You and I so I'm like 
Zayn, what are you doing? Because <laughs> um, it's so random out and out of the blue because he just does not post anything apart from Uf UFC or songs. He's still not done a live performance, guys. It's been how many years and Zayn's not gone on tour, Zayn's not put like any live shows. It's wild. I think he likes showing that he's got musical talent, but I don't think he likes the touring side of things. That's my thought process on it. This is a very random part of the video. Alright, I'm gonna stop. Um, today's plan, there's a long plane. <laughs> Guys, my lights and my oven just flick it like four or five times I'm not too sure how my oven did because it's not open it only lights up when you open it that was the oddest thing I've seen happen I thought it was maybe a fire a fire cut a power cut but the times are still on. I've never seen that in my life. Like it, it feels like it's a power cut, but it wasn't a real power cut. And the worst is, I don't know anyone to ask because I don't know anyone who I, I don't know anyone who I live by. All right, good morning. Um. So, yesterday, um, I kind of forgot to vlog, but I went to my parents for dinner. On the way home from my parents, I broke my car, and now we're here. <laughs> so I um, hit the curb a little bit too hard last night, and I've broken my bum from my car. So my dad's just come around and helped me, oh, well, not, didn't he, I, didn't even help me. He put it up for me. Um, he put up this shelf, I got this shelf for, my birthday and it's now finally up and I've got um all these hooks and for now I've just put mugs there but um yeah I've got my stuff it's basically elevating it from down here up to there which I'm very happy about it gives me more like workspace it looks so much like tidier now um yeah so we've got <laughs> Uh, T T T T rice noodles I believe they are called raisins and spaghetti <laughs> they were all like lying along here that is some of this pre-workout which I put into a jar and then it got like crystallized so I couldn't add any more into it so this is the stuff the only amount the amount of stuff that I can use all right <laughs> good evening <laughs> so it's now 10 35 i'm just about to put my dinner on and i'm gonna have the rest of this tonight um tomorrow i'm gonna be like in and out the entire day so i don't know if i'm gonna finish the vlog tonight or tomorrow or through the weekend i haven't really decided yet uh today's thursday <laughs> to reiterate um tomorrow my brother is also off work tomorrow but um he's not got any plans because he can't play golf at the moment because of his collarbone so he had to cancel that so we're going to the cinema around lunchtime and then i'm meeting my friends for dinner at seven i don't quite know when or how i'm going to fit in um editing and uploading my video for friday which is obviously tomorrow so there may be a slight delay but yeah i just i don't know what's happened um i've spent all day today well this morning my dad came over to um hang up the shelf that's now on the wall uh then around lunchtime i went to the 
crash repair place and got a quote and my car booked in to get replaced uh, not got replaced to get fixed prepared is what i meant to say and then i went to to the shopping center for well i had to get my glasses and tightened a little bit because they were a little bit loosey-goosey so i went there for a like, couple of hours did some window browsing Alrighty. <laughs> well that was a fail. I went to edit the video, it was meant to be a get ready with me video. And I've lost the first half of me actually getting ready. I've got me introducing the video, I've got me um, deciding my outfit and then um, the second half of me getting ready was me doing my makeup and like my hair and things um i'm missing the first portion of me doing my makeup and what i also realized i was wearing my t-shirt wrong the entire video as well i had it wrong backwards so i'm kind of glad that it failed but um unfortunately it didn't work out quite well so now i now need to try and figure out what i can film in a rush to upload maybe on Saturday as well as I'm out of the house tomorrow otherwise I have just realized I how oh, I just bumped into my thingy um I need to have my food I don't think I share with you guys a lot of footage of Mill Mill but this is Millie she is thriving she still hates me if I come up to her but she's okay if it's on her own terms so I'm not going to trick her now because I know that she won't like it but usually if she comes up to me on my bed or on the sofa if I'm sitting on my chair she's fine like it's only on her terms otherwise I am a predator. Guten Morgen? Is that German? Not too sure. Um, Buenos dias. <laughs> it is 20 to 12. I've just woken up. Well, not. I've just got up. I've been in and out of sleep because I went to bed quite late last night. I had to bed at like 3. I'm in and out of sleep. I think my brother's going to pick me up in about half an hour and then we're going to go to get lunch and then we're going to go and watch the bullet train. Um, I've decided to go sans makeup because I just kind of be bothered. Hey Mil Mil, it depends how much time I have between the film and me having to go out for dinner. I'm going out for dinner, I'm going out for lunch, what on earth is this? Uh, I haven't really had any breakfast, I've had a banana, I'm still really hungry but given the fact that we're going to have lunch in about, in less than an hour, I'm kind of hoping that um, this is the right choice. I've probably got 10 minutes until I need to go to meet my friends. Um, so I watched Bullet Train with my brother, which by the way, it was, oh, I've got hiccups, it's, it was really good, um, really stupid. But surprisingly good. Um, I had like Brad Pitt in it. Um, and then I came home about two hours ago and had a nap. And now we're here. It's half past six. I've got about 10 15 minutes until I need to leave to go to, a, to my dinner. I had pizza for lunch, but I didn't have much, so I'm actually starving now. As we've only got 15 minutes to go, I'm not doing a whole full face of makeup. I don't think I've ever done this with all my friends. I think like these set friends, I think have always seen me wear like a full face of makeup. I honestly just cannot be bothered today. So I'm I'm just literally just gonna do my brows, which to be fair get, gets hidden by my frames on my glasses anyway. And then I'm also then going to um just do my mascara oh my goodness um and that's it i'm just taking it chill today maybe i'll do <gasps> honestly the hiccups maybe i'll do like this instead morning morning oh yesterday was such a good day i had a really good day yesterday 
um, met up with my friends in the evening, we had dinner together, um, it was just a really nice little catch up to have to be honest. Yes, it's now 1pm, I've just filmed and edited the video that I'm due to go up today because I couldn't upload it yesterday as I was not home. Um, I didn't have enough time to film and upload yesterday so I have just been doing that for the last like two hours. Um, I'm just ex currently exporting it right now. Oh, that's a really bad screenshot. <laughs> I'm just currently exporting it right now. Um, and I'm going to upload it now as well. And I'll probably make it so it goes live this evening. So I'm yeah, happy that I managed to get that out of the doors um pretty promptly i need to also film another video but um for that i'm probably going to actually put some makeup on rather than leaving like this because i did just film that video barefaced looking like this okay time to film my next video i thought i would show you guys Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an update on my deck of planning project, which is a project created by Emily and Max. I've been doing it for a few months now. I have got those videos filmed and both uploaded. And now I think I'm going to go for a nap. Just going to balance you there whilst I do this. Um, I forgot to quickly dump the So, unfortunately, um, that's not happened. This is my usual end of the evening task. I'll try and not show you any of the bad stuff, but no promises. Um, I, yeah, I tend to spend, this is my last thing to do before I go to bed. Because it's my least favourite thing to do. You know what I found as a lifesaver is clumping litter. Um, I have found that she actually seems to prefer that. Um, I would find that if I wasn't using clumping litter, I was using like wood pellets for like the first year and she just did not get on with it. So I changed to um, like, I don't know, don't really know what it's called, but just I hear people shouting, but I don't know if they're shouting from downstairs or if there's an incident outside somewhere. Um, literal screams. It's like midnight, guys. I think it must be the flat below me. I don't know if it's picking up with you guys on camera or not. But it's definitely from coming from below. It's definitely coming from like under this room. I'm glad I've not got my hearing aid in because I can tell you that would be much louder. Okay, it is another lonesome day where am i where is my hairbrush hairbrush um i'm not too sure my hairbrush has gone on a walk um i've just had a bath as you can tell <sighs> dressed up um it's currently half past one um in my bath i noticed that i've got like an infection on my big toe 
it's gross. I'm a little bit worried. Just a little bit worried. Oh. Found it. <laughs> I found my hairbrush. I'm not too sure what that was doing there, but. Anywho. Um, I've decided I'm gonna end it now because I'm not really doing anything else tonight. So I'm just gonna sit, watch TV or Twitch. So see ya.